Now, number 15 is going to be about 20 ovules. How many are going to be good? I'll tell you right now. One. So you're going to have to hunt down the right side of the cone and then hunt down the left side of the cone. How do I know that's good? Well, because I know what I'm looking for. Uh, first of all, that's a bract. That's the what? Ovaliferous scale. Since we're in the conifers, these aren't mucilage ducts there. What do you get from pine trees? Ah. Anybody have to clean paintbrushes? Well, you guys got it easy. You guys clean your paintbrushes out in tap water with all the damn latex paint. In the old days, you had to use turpentine. Turpentine comes from what? Pine, resin. Resin. They collect it, they, they strip the bark and they collect the uh, turpentine. So, uh, ovalifer scale, bract, ovule. And inside, well, I can't see it from here. All right, now I can see it. That's 10x power. See that cell? See how bigger, much bigger it is? That's the megasporocyte. That's what I want you to find, megasporocyte. And 10x power is peachy. Uh, if you want 40, there it is. But, you know, you're not going to see much detail. It's just that it's bigger than the surrounding cell. That's the megasporocyte. All righty, what's number 16? Pro-embryo. Pro? Where? I don't see it. You're right, I don't either. That's the integument. Nucellus. Female. Pull it up. Integument. Nucellus. I didn't pull it up very much. Pull it up more. New integument. Nucellus. Rip. Female. Pull it up. <laughs> All right, female. You go, well, with archegonial remains. Well, the suspensors are pushing the pro-embryo down about where the floor is. So pull this up. And now you see it. See the ripped archegonial remains? Follow, 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 follow. Pro-embryo. Boy, that's not very big. How about 10x? Okay. Pro-embryo. Not very big, is it? Pro-embryo embedded in female. 40x power, pro embryo. Okay, now let's look at number 17. There's no integument, there's no new cells, they're all gone. So this is female gametophyte. What's all the yellow stringy stuff? Suspensor. There's one pro embryo, two, three. The record is four. Someone found four on the slide once. Here you can plainly see one, two, two pro embryos. This pine, well, conifers. Conifers are polyembryonic, right? There you go. There's the growing tip or cap of the proembryo and stringy, stringy suspensors. Okay, this last slide, that is 4X, sorry. It's so damn big, you can't get it on a whole slide. You won't even see a radical. It's cut off. But you might say, well, why are you showing this? One, two, three, four, five. So there's at least five. Actually, there's like eight to twelve. Pine is polycotyledonous, right? You have more than one cotyledon. That's the hypercotyl. Just hold the slide up to the light, you know, you don't need a microscope. It's okay. Uh, on the front desk, we have some cones. This is Pinus jeffreyi, growing in Oregon mountains. Uh, the lipper scale, the seeds are gone, you know, but there used to be two per scale. There's the seeds. We've got some petri dishes. I'll show you. With, with the seeds, with the wing. And there I am with my finger holding my Canon camera, trying to hold it still and flicking it with my fingers. These are the pollen cones the, uh, on campus the second week of May, Austrian pine. Okay? There's last year's pollen cones. See how all the dried up and they're brown. But here's a nice seed cone. Right there, of uh, Austrian pine, seed cone. And the needles come in twosies. Okay, this is not a pine tree. Okay, it's called uh, blue spruce. Okay, I see it at the ease. And this is your Douglas fir. I got some cones on the front table. What's so unusual about Douglas fir? The bracts are longer than the ovalifer scale. Remember what I said in lecture? Tri lobed. X current. Right there. Well, it's not, you know, you don't have to know the genus or anything like that. I just thought I'd point it out to you. An uh, hour and ten minutes away from here, uh, near uh, Oregon, Illinois, down Route 64 a piece, 
White Pine State Park, it's free. Huge white pines, that's second uh, generation, second growth. The virgin ones have been all lumbered away. The white pine is soft because the needles come in fives. Okay, this is uh, red cedar on campus at BU by the Shoal. Uh, it doesn't have woody cones, it has fleshy little blue cones called arils, A-R-I-L. The birdies love to eat these, and in England, they ferment these things and make a liquor known as, they drink lots of it in England. What is that liquor that you get from fermenting juniper berries? They're not berries, they're arils. Gin, gin, okay? So that's red cedar. It's native to Illinois, by the way. Juniper is Virginia, you know? And this one growing in the snow is Japanese yew. It's in a different family, Taxaceae. And it's an evergreen, summer, winter, whatever. Its cones are red fleshy things, all right? Red fleshy arrows, not blue, but red. And one seed inside, naked seed, gymnosperm. So mom and dad tell you never to eat these because they're poisonous? Eh, fuba, no. I eat these all the time. Well, when, well, I did when we had field trips on campus. Except for the speed, seed, you gotta spit out the seed. The red fleshy thing is really gooey and sweet, high in sucrose. Really good, but spit out the seed. The speed has hydrocyanic acid in it, and you don't want to solve that. You know, it's cyanide. You know.